crews, they've been out here all night working to rescue these four mountain bikers. Take a look right here behind me. I've been working to piece together this investigation all day long, and right now we're finally understanding why Marana police were out here weeks after this deadly shooting. I'm here at Westover in Valencia, where we can still see damage from last night's storm. Now take a look right here next to me, a close up look at this wrecked car. This silver Nissan is still soaked. Contractors, they tell me one of the biggest struggles is just getting workers to their job site. Some going old school with their advertising, showing just how bad the problem really is here in Tucson. Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news on this beautiful Friday, but repairs, they won't wrap up right here on a mountain for another few months. Jerry Roulette, an amateur photographer, has set up dozens of cameras just like this all along his three acre property. Well, expect a lot of extra traffic near the University of Arizona. That's because over 1500 students will be moving into 23 different residence halls starting today. So these new changes will be happening at every single airport all across the nation, including right here at Tucson International Airport. Now, anything bigger than a cell phone will have to go in a bin just like this one and have to go through security on its own. We are here live at the Woodridge apartment complex. This is near Camino Seco and Speedway, but take a look at this damage right here. Incredible pictures this morning. You are taking a live look at a more than 50 foot tall tree literally lying on the side of this apartment complex. 12 hours until this rally officially kicks off. Barricades set up. Roads are blocked off. Now take a look all the way down the street over here. 20 live cars set up right now. Reporters from all all over the country waiting to hear what Donald Trump will say and do next. He made it a point not to say the names during his speech, but still everyone knew who he was talking about. Arizona Republican Senators John McCain and Jeff Flake. We're going to get all of our questions answered. Now at one o'clock this afternoon, these doors right here behind me will open up. The art world will finally be at rest knowing that a multi-million dollar piece of art is back on the walls here at the university where it belongs. Longs. Well, guys, they're happening all over the city at bus shelters just like this one. It's not only helping and uh, protecting the people who sit on this bench, but for everyone out on the road. Well, guys, as you can imagine, she is still dealing with a lot of pain and the memories. They come flooding back to her every time she drives past this intersection right here on La Kenyatta on her way to church. And a rescue like this is extremely dangerous for everyone, especially for for those up in the sky. Now, I spoke to one of the crew members yesterday. They've been working nonstop in this extremely unpredictable weather. I spent most of my day yesterday combing through all of this information, and now we're here live at the TUSD bus barn, where if I take a step out of the way, you can see some of these uh, school bus drivers getting ready to start their day. And we're here live at the University of Arizona, the Flandreau Center, where NASA will be streaming this live solar eclipse very, very shortly all along the path of totality, but walk with me this way. You can already see a lot of media out here right now, but this lawn right outside the building right over here where UA astronomers will be setting up telescopes very, very soon. Now you'll be able to watch the partial solar eclipse right here in Tucson all for free. Good morning. It is very busy right here at Coronado Elementary School. We have kids coming off the bus. We have a ton of teachers giving them hugs, high-fiving them. And this is one of our teachers this morning who has been greeting all the kids as they come in. What's the feeling? What's the energy like on the first day of school? Amazing. Yeah. You guys, there is a lot of emotion right now. There's jitters. We have a lot of excited kids. I noticed that there was a charge from a merchant that I don't normally frequent way on the other side of town. It's kind of like being robbed, yeah, I mean, absolutely. Someone stole and spent Lisa Noyce's money, and she never knew it was happening. It kind of freaked me out, obviously. The scene of the crime? Right here, at a place we all stop at several times a month. Thieves hijacked Noyce's neighborhood Circle K last year, popping open the gas pump's front door and installing an illegal card skimmer. The device itself could literally hold three to 400,000 card numbers. The criminal stole more than 200 bucks from Noyce's account. I definitely no longer use a pay at the pump option. Um, I always go inside and pay inside. Fraud like this on the rise all across the nation. They're mad. 
obviously very mad that this has happened. In 2015, retailers were required to install the higher security chip readers or face stiff fines. All retailers except gas stations. They were given, get this, two extra years to make the upgrades. Now, another extension that you probably didn't even know about. No, no, you're the first one that told me about it. No, I have not. That's news to me. Visa and MasterCard have given the gas retailers three more years to install the chip readers. They extended that deadline from October 2017 to October 2020, realizing there were unique challenges at the gasoline pump that our convenience store operators were facing. Those challenges, money and time. The new equipment and technology to read the chips cost a lot to install, between ten and $25,000 per pump. What we're finding is most um, convenience stores have at least five pumps. If you have five pumps, we're finding it costs as much as $100,000. Now, because of that extension, many gas station owners are taking their time to secure their pumps. There are 445 gas stations in Tucson and Pima County. That's thousands of pumps to fill up at. According to Tucson police right now, not a single one can read the new chip cards. And every day that goes by is another day where your money and personal information is put at risk. I would expect my privacy to be protected. Leaving you thinking twice the next time you pay with a card at the pump. To say that Roger Rep is crazy for Gila monsters is, well, a bit of an understatement. To me, the biggest purpose for moving here was I wanted to see a Gila monster in the wild. The Tucson man has studied these lizards for 13 have. years. Just show the world what his snappers look like. There we go. But he's never actually figured out the biggest mystery of all. Actually, no one has. Scientists can't even answer this one specific question. We know when they get pregnant. We know when they lay eggs. We know where they lay eggs. But the big mystery was when in the wild do Gila monsters hatch? Until now. And this was like just a gift that just absolutely fell in my lap. In October, something incredible happened. It's the first Gila monster nest ever discovered. Construction crews digging near a Foothills home found not one, not two, two but five one baby one Gila monsters. Obviously, Workers called around and do. everyone pointed to Rep to help. So immediately we go down in the trench. He's showing me where the Gila monsters were found. And uh, I glance off to the right and I see in the dirt pile on the top, another Gila monster wiggling out of the dirt pile. So this day was getting better by the minute. Two of them were walking around, the others still somewhat in their shells. You know, he just leaves a message for me and you know, he's all excited and it's like, there's these baby Gila monsters. I'm gonna go get them, I'll contact you when I get back. And it's like, okay, well, I don't know what this is about, but sure. Arizona State University professor Dale DiNardo has been studying Gila monsters for nearly two decades. What's exciting about it is that not only did someone find a Gila monster nest, which is hard enough, but they found a hatching nest. Rep's discovery, the missing piece that the reptile world needed to understand the evolution of the Gila monster. This is evidence that yes, they are hatching in the fall. They're just not coming up, they're staying in that nest, which is very unique. Um, no other lizard's known to do it. Now you're all wondering, why has it taken so long to figure this all out? Well, these lizards are very, very good at hiding their nests. The ASU professor, he tells me you could literally dig car-sized trenches across the entire desert for six months and not find one nest. As you can imagine, not only finding, but documenting these baby lizards, practically impossible. For now, though, that is the very latest. I'm Morgan Kirkland reporting for Tucson News Now. Now they told their friends and family about what happened. Now they want to tell the story for the very last time. And I just remember standing there having a nice time, all of a sudden realizing, you know, that something was really wrong. I just remember feeling Mark just throw me on the ground and and um, lay over me. Go. My instinct was just to turn and run at this person. It was carnage, you know, it was a war zone. Everyone in the street was trying to attend to the people who were shot. I got hit in the leg, just tried to get a little bit of cover because the bullets were just everywhere. Two women, I don't know where they came from, but two women came to me and um, 
pick me up. It seemed like it took forever. I thought Mark's been killed. The infamous belt guy uh, gave me his belt, you know. I just told him, make it as tight as you can. 15, 20 minutes later was from a guy by the name of Travis. And he said, Sonny, I won't leave him. So I promise you I won't leave him. And he didn't. I'm tall, I'm in a t-shirt, what are you wearing? He said, I'm gonna come out and get you and take you to Mark. To see the people there, the care for each other was impressive. It really was. Yeah, right now. There was love and compassion in that. That conquers evil. It's bigger than it's bigger than hate. <clears throat> then when this happens, you realize, you know, it's not a safe place. And I hope, you know, people can just heal from this. Including us. This couple, truly a pleasure to meet today. They will heal and grow from this. For now, though, that is the very latest from Studio Morgan Kirkland. Back to you.